The Beaches Podcast is going to give you everything you want to know about a beach before you go there. I hope you enjoy the show. Be sure to check out our website, www.sandee.com. Without further ado, let's get into the show. All right, everybody, get ready because we're going on a little trip today. Sounds fun. Yeah, so I found this blog post and we'll get this. Picture a beach, right? Sun setting, sand between your toes. But instead of like, you know, those typical beach town vibes, uh -huh. you look up and bam, yeah. medieval castles. No way. Way. We're talking Estonia. Uh -huh. Apparently this Baltic nation has a coastline that's absolutely breathtaking. Estonia, huh? For beaches, that's not usually the first thing that comes to mind. Exactly. And that's why I had to dig deeper, especially after you send over all that info. So let's dive into what makes Estonia such a hidden gem, shall we? Sounds like a plan. Before we even get to the beaches themselves, paint me a picture. What's the overall vibe in Estonia? Okay, so imagine this. You've got these cobblestone streets, hundreds of years old, just full of history, but right next to them, super modern buildings, tech startups, the whole shebang. It's this blend of medieval and modern and all surrounded by these beautiful forests. And then there's Tallinn, the capital, the old town there, U UNESCO World Heritage Site totally takes you back in time. Uh -huh. Oh, and get this. Estonia is where Skype was born, and it was the first country to ever launch a digital e-residency program. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Talk about a country of contrast. It's like stepping into a time machine, but like <laughs> a time machine with high-speed internet. Exactly. Okay, okay, I'm hooked. But let's get to the main course here, those Estonian beaches. What's the inside scoop? They're truly unique. Imagine long stretches of soft, powdery sand, and I mean soft, bordered by these fragrant pines pine forests, you know, that fresh pine smell, and the water, crystal clear, thanks to the Baltic Sea. The Baltic Sea, huh? Now, isn't that uh, a little... A hilly. Yeah, refreshing isn't usually the first thing that comes to mind for beach vacations. You're right. It's definitely more invigorating than your typical tropical swim, but trust me, there's something so revitalizing about it. People swear by it, actually. Cold water swimming is huge there, a whole tradition. They say it has tons of health benefits. So you're telling me I can soak up some sun, get my history fix, maybe even launch a tech startup, and improve my health all in one trip. Pretty much. And I read somewhere that Estonia is becoming a haven for digital nomads. Yeah. Something about Wi-Fi on the beaches. Oh, yeah. Estonia takes its digital infrastructure seriously. You can easily find a beachside cafe or even a co-working space with an ocean view and just work away. Plus, remember that e-residency program. It makes it incredibly easy for entrepreneurs and freelancers to set up shop in Estonia, both physically and digitally. But you can be productive and enjoy the scenery at the same time. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, so... When should we pack our bags? When's the prime time to experience these Estonian beaches? Well, if you want that classic beach vacation experience with warm weather and tons of people, summer is the time to go. But, and this is where it gets interesting, the off-season has its own magic. Off-season magic, huh? Now you've got my attention. Mm, think about it. Crisp autumn air, beaches that are practically empty, and the sunsets. Honestly, some of the most stunning you'll ever see. You can go for walks breathe in that fresh air, and just enjoy the tranquility. It's a whole different side to Estonia's beauty. I bet. Oh, and there are even some activities that are best in the off-season. Like what? Like amber hunting. Wait, like searching for real amber? Yep. After storms, especially on the Baltic, the waves wash up these beautiful pieces of amber on the shore. It's like a treasure hunt built into your beach walk. Wow, that's incredible. It's really something. Estonia really does seem like a hidden gem. Beaches, history, tech... Even some treasure hunting thrown in. Who knew? It's a destination full of surprises. Well, there you have it. A peek into the wonders of Estonian beaches. You know, I'm already picturing myself strolling along those sandy shores. What about you? Have we convinced you to add Estonia to your travel bucket list? Let us know. Thanks for listening to the show and be sure to tune in next week for your favorite episode about some of the best beaches and beach information in the world.